Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123. Now recently I had a psychic reading done for me by a lovely lady named Jen. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you what was said in the reading and kind of, you know, reacting and giving you my views and opinions on what was said. So yeah, I'm like truly fascinated by all things spiritual, magical, mystical. You know, I sometimes read tarot cards for other people. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, really excited about this like seriously I would love to have this done again by the way uh, so what I'll do in the description box I'll put all the details down so if you do want to read him by the lovely Jen um, you can get in contact with her find out more about her etc uh, she is on Instagram and I love her Instagram by the way she's so cool and she's so beautiful as well like seriously you need to check out this girl look at her face oh my god she's just so pretty she's like wow pretty do you know what I mean oh my camera light's gone funny what's happened there oh <laughs> there we go we're back um, but yeah she's so pretty but not only is she pretty like she's actually a really 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 beautiful person inside and outside she's so lovely she's so sweet and I thoroughly enjoyed the reading she did so she done it on like an audio file she sent it to me I listened to it and I was like whoa it's just amazing so what I've done I listened to it again and I kind of jotted down some notes from it, like key points that I could tell you what she said and then kind of give you, as I say, my reaction and views. So let's get started. Okay, so the general reading from the lovely Jen. So first of all, she said that I was quite a spiritual person and she was drawn to my channel kind of instantly uh, because she loved my character and personality. So by the way, this girl is not like a friend of mine. She doesn't know me. I've never met her. She's only literally found me recently because she watched one of my charity shop haul videos and that was it so she hasn't like known me for a long time or anything um so yeah she was drawn to me she liked my personality and I do believe definitely I don't know about you but I think we are drawn to certain people in life for certain reasons so that's pretty cool and uh, then she said that I am on a uh, personal discovery at the moment so I'm looking to kind of discover my true self my real kind of true self uh, she said that um, in the past I hadn't really known who I was but now I'm starting to become more me and uh, I'm more open now and honest you know about who I am and what I like and dislike and that is so spot on like seriously I always say to people um, that like back in the day I wasn't really me like I was kind of I don't know like a kind of living this kind of fake character life you know having to be funny having to be loud having to be bubbly and wild and party animal um, but I wasn't really happy deep down it's only like in the last well since I've been with Nathan basically he's kind of you know made me like bring out my true self like I finally am comfortable with who I am I like doing what I like doing and yeah like I'm just more myself than I ever was you know so that's really true and um she also said that uh hold on I'm just reading my writing <laughs> my writing is like a cat would write it's so scruffy not that I know what a cat would write like but anyway uh so yeah she said that I'm very strong and courageous and in the future I'm going to become even more strong and courageous and that meant a lot to me because you know in the past I was quite weak in situations um but now I'm definitely getting stronger as a character and as a person so that's nice to know I'll carry on being you know more strong in life um so she also said about YouTube um she said that YouTube is making me more open and honest and um it's kind of building me this fan base she said in the reading that people want to get to know me and follow my journey and that's kind of cute like you know whenever someone says to me I do get a lot of comments on both my YouTube channels um that they're a fan of me or a fan of my work and that I'm like what it weirds me out a bit because like I don't see myself as anyone special and I'm like how can anyone be a fan of me um or what I do but it is kind of cute and you know to them they are fans you know what I mean so you know, it's nice to know that they don't just watch my videos for what I'm doing in a video, but they actually want to know and get to know me as a person. Like, not just Minx Laura's videos, but Laura, you know? So that was kind of sweet. I liked that. Um, so she also said, need to be, I need to be more gentle on myself. Um, I do sometimes push myself, emotion, push myself emotionally and physically, which is definitely true. Yes, I literally I beat myself up all the time emotionally and I, I 
put myself down a lot and I try and not do that as much but you know back in the day I was very bad for doing that instead of looking at anything positive about myself I would always kind of look at the negative stuff like look at my flaws instead of the you know good things that I had and you know lately I've trying to get better so it's very true you know to uh, instead of look for the negative in you and what you haven't got or whatever you know look for the positive in you and what you have got um, but yeah, she said that I, I do sometimes focus too much on my imperfections, which yeah, is, is true. Um, but I am trying not to. I'm trying to be more positive about myself. Uh, she also said that I've got quite an imbalance at the moment with my energy points, like my tra chakras. Um, apparently my uh, energy is, is uh, getting blocked. And uh, she said it would cause me to feel quite stressed and kind of extra sensitive lately and feeling tired and things like that. And Oh my god, when I heard that on this audio, I was like, honestly, it's so spot on, so perfect. I literally have said to Nathan lately that for some reason I feel so stressed, so like angry, and like everything is getting to me, everything's making me like super sensitive. Um, and I was like, I don't know why I'm so like stressed all the time. I've even had to go and get some like special herbal tea for relaxation, <laughs> honestly, because I, I just feel so like hit up and wound up really easily. So uh, maybe this is true. Maybe my chakra energies are kind of blocked. Um, and she said to go on YouTube and look up videos on how you can kind of unblock the, sh the chak chakras and just kind of feel more calm and positive. So I'm definitely going to try this because I do definitely have no, I have noticed that I feel more stressed lately. Um, Next up, she said about money. Money, money, money. Um, so this is good for me. <laughs> money is coming my way, apparently. That's good. Um, and so she says that, um, yeah, I'm going to be buying something as well to do with my appearance. Um, and she said something about my hair, which is really creepy because, like, literally a couple of days ago, I went shopping and I bought these, like, coloured hair extension things. Like, I'm going to do a video on this channel with. Um, so I was like, oh. But, yeah, you know, so that's pretty cool. I'm pleased that money is coming my way. But regarding money, she also said I have to kind of review how I spend my money. She said that I can be a little too careless with cash. <laughs> Yeah. Now, if you're a regular viewer on my channel, you'll know that I am a shopaholic and I try and get better, but then I just, yeah, I'm just a red bull and I go out, I see something I want and I buy it. I just buy like random stuff, you know. Um, so she's not wrong with that. I am a shopaholic, so um, I do need to be a little bit, well, a lot more sensible with my money. Um, so that was weird that it can't be in the reading. Um, also, she said that I'm going to be getting a lot of uh, material gifts. A lot of material gifts are going to be given to me, acts of kindness. Um, and she also mentioned like viewers of my YouTube channel sending me like lots of stuff and like a flow of gifts coming my way. And that is really creepy true because that has been happening lately. Like over the years I've had my YouTube channel, you know, wonderful, sweet viewers have sent me gifts and letters and cards and things like that. But just like in the last month or so, it's literally like, yeah, literally like a flow of gifts. It's literally been like, I've been getting so many like gift boxes, you know, people have sent me all these gifts and I'm like, whoa, you know, it feels like my birthday when I get these like big boxes filled with gifts, you know. Um, so that was quite weird that she picked up on that and very true as well. And then she said, like, um, how I'm a quite a creative person. I've got a creative nature, which definitely true. And then, oh my God, get this. She said about my creative writing. Now, she wouldn't know this, like, do you know what I mean? But I have been getting into my creative writing recently. I've been doing some poetry. I've been writing a story, which I need to do more writing, actually, because I've stopped but you know that's what I've been doing lately I, I used to love writing and now I'm getting back into it so for her to kind of bring that up um was pretty cool and she also actually mentioned that I would um, possibly start or should possibly start going to look for like a workshop on like English you know writing creative writing poetry that kind of thing so I'll definitely look out to see if any like local I don't know like the library or something or a college do anything like that because she said about like hanging out with people who are interested in it as well and learning new things about creative writing. So I would definitely look out for that. I think it's a great idea. Um, then we get to romance. Now she drew apparently the wedding card, which is really cool. Think of all those cards and she drew the wedding card. Now, as you know, or if you don't know, I am engaged. There's my engagement ring. 
Oh, yeah. Um, and she said, yeah, she didn't know if I was already married or I was engaged or something, but she drew the wedding card, so I am engaged. Um, but me and Nathan laugh that, often laugh that we're, like, as good as married. We're, like, a married couple. You know, we've been together, like, six years, and he's, like, my world, and I'd like to think I'm his world as well. No, I am. Um, but, no, so we are soulmates, and we always often say, like, we're as good as married, and uh, it's weird that she pulled the marriage card, you know, the wedding card. She also did say that I'd been hurt in the past um, and that people kind of messed me up a bit, basically, which is true. In the past, I was with idiots, uh, ex-boyfriends who were just complete idiots and you know, I won't go into it now, but I was, you know, in a couple of quite abusive relationships, both mentally and physically. Um, so the fact she picked up on that was quite... Mm. But she said that through that, through, like, past her, I'd kind of built up my defences as a person. Um, and I'd kind of put my barriers up. And that is literally something I say all the time to people. Like, I always say I'm quite a defensive person, got my barriers high, the wall's quite high around me because I'm so scared of people hurting me emotionally and physically that I don't really let people in. And that can be either with, like, relationships and also friendships as well. Like, you know, basically I had a little bit of a fallout with a girl <laughs> a little while ago and she kind of tried to kind of make amends with me recently. And as polite as I was to her, you know, I just... I couldn't, I couldn't let her in fully. Like, I didn't, I don't foresee us ever becoming real friend friends again because, like, once someone's hurt me, that's kind of it. I'm just like, nah. Um, and I know I, that's my issue. I should kind of knock down those walls a little bit, but I, I, I don't know. I'm very, like, protective of myself. So, yeah, she, she definitely picked up on that. But she said in regards to my relationship now with Nathan that I'm completely safe. I don't need any barriers up or defences because uh, she did say that we were soulmates. She said we're meant to be and she said I'm definitely meant to be with this person. So that's good news. Oh, we're with the right person. Woohoo! Which is this as well because we're engaged. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, next up, she said I need a little break, a little holiday, just some sort of a time away from here basically my house which you know because my anxiety I don't travel I get a bit weird when I'm far from home yeah there's another story um but yeah it's definitely literally something I said to Nathan the other day we should just go for like a little hotel break just even sometimes like a night away like a day away somewhere out of the house just together romance you know and you know so it's weird that she picked up on that because we had said about that recently um she also said someone had passed around me and she said it was an older female and um, I, I honestly think this is my grandma. Um, she said that she'd been trying to give me signs, which is really weird because lately I have had uh, a few more spooky things happen in my house. Spooky things always happen, to be fair. I do live in a haunted house. Um, but lately, like the other day, me and Nathan were in bed. Well, the other night, not the other day. But anyway, it was, we were in bed and we both heard at the same time a female voice saying hello and I was like did you hear that and he's like did you hear that so it was really creepy it wasn't my mum by the way she was completely snoring asleep it was literally from like down the end of the hall um and so in this reading she'd said that the person this lady that had passed was trying to make herself more kind of known to me and, and try and give me more signs like vocally like so I've got to listen out for her so the fact that she said that and we'd literally heard that was weird and literally after I started um so after I stopped listening to the audio of this reading I swears down right literally five minutes later the phone rung once only in my bedroom literally it's, it's so creepy it's so creepy spooky didn't ring in any other house any other room in the house just my bedroom it's like one ring it stopped i did 1471 and the number was like from yesterday like the day before sort of thing so it was it hadn't registered a number or anything it was really weird but anyway so and she also said to look out for like signs like feathers um and if you see certain birds and this is so weird because lately, honestly, lately I've been really for some reason noticing crows. Like there just seems to be a lot of crows around. <laughs> like, there's always pigeons and seagulls, but I've been noticing crows. And even when I went to the library, I bought a book. Well, I borrowed a book about crows. Like a, it was a thriller, but anyway. Uh, so it's like crow, crow, crow. And then she mentioned birds. And I was like, oh, it's a bit weird. Anyway, um, so that's that. She also said that, uh, yeah, this is weird. Basically, my grandma was telling me, well, the lady spirit, who I think is my grandma, was telling me how much I'm a bit of a worrier and uh, she doesn't like me keep worrying all the time. And basically, she said that 
things kind of go on and on around and around in my head it starts to make me overthink and panic this is so true I'm 100% like this. I am an overthinker. I've got a very, you know, active imagination and I just think and think and think and imagine all these horrible scenarios, think the worst and then I worry and then I panic and get anxious. So um, the fact that, you know, this spirit is kind of worrying about me being a worrier and overthinking and she was saying that there's no need to worry. I just calm down and stop overthinking. So I am going to try and just stop it a little bit you know it's just stop worrying as much but yeah it's weird that she said that um also she said that i need to kind of cleanse and detox myself which obviously if you're a regular viewer once again you'll know that i'm on you know a bit of a weight loss journey i've lost a bit you know i've gone down in my dress size in certain clothes and i feel better in myself like you know that i'm a bit slimmer i'm still chubby let's not get that you know but i've definitely lost a little bit of weight so it's all good and i haven't been eating as much crap you know i've been doing more exercise lots of walking and stuff so yeah so that was weird that she said about that um also she said that um any situation in the past that i worry about she said that the message was that the timing wasn't right um and there's going to be this is the more kind of more positive era of my life coming up um so i'm not going to go into this because some things i do keep personal i know i'm quite an open book on youtube and social media but there are things about my life in my past that i don't talk about so the fact that she said that was really weird and literally something that happened to me many years ago that has caused me a lot of issues emotionally um whenever i talk about it to people someone uh or some people say to me it was it was the right thing to do you know it was you know the timing wasn't right and so to her to actually say that sentence the timing wasn't right i don't know it really weirded me out but in a nice way because it felt like validation that it wasn't the right time for something sorry i'm not being all mysterious but you know sometimes you do have to keep stuff to yourself you know um so that was spot on and lastly she said that um there are some people out there who can be um threatened by my success on youtube like a bit of the green eyed monster a bit jealousy trolls are not good to me and that is true because they literally are horrible to me <laughs> like my trolls they're not just horrible they're really horrible and you know i honestly believe that partly of you know the imagination of a troll is that they're so like like sorry the the brain of the troll who's being nasty i think there is a bit of jealousy there because they're jealous that you're this or you're that it might not necessarily be of my looks it might be jealous of my personality or of my relationship or or my confidence or whatever i don't know um so when she said that it was like hmm that kind of made sense to me with the troll thing um and she said that apparently a lot of my viewers are very inspired by me and they enjoy you know watching me grow as a person and my journey and they'll continue to watch my journey and my personality you know become more confident and comfortable with who i am and that was really nice to hear so overall i've got to be honest it was a really good reading like when i read through those notes again like see this video i was thinking if someone knew me they could have easily done all that let's be honest okay like the creative writing i've spoke about they know i'm a shopaholic things like that but then i thought she doesn't know me like she just doesn't know me she's only just become like a viewer of my channel um and some of the things i say is so personal that i don't discuss it on youtube and stuff so yeah she's no way of knowing that and yeah it was just really good it was a really good reading i thoroughly enjoyed it i hope she does another one for me she says she will so i was like yes um but yeah so as i say i'll put all the information if you want to read in uh, from her down below in the description box she's a lovely lady her name's jen as i say um on instagram i'm just looking at her insta here official psychic jen um let's have a look at some of these uh she might it says here coming soon instagram live reading so hopefully she does that that'd be pretty cool um so yeah she's got all her information there's a website here www.jenangelreadings.com and she's from england and um yeah i'll put all the information down below so you can find out you know how if you want to read in and stuff oh my phone's blooping <laughs> to get in touch with her and what she's done also on her instagram is put like screenshots where people have told her like how perfect and spot on the readings are including mine she's she's got mine on here which is pretty cool uh, this is what i put by the way i said oh my god feeling emotional just had a reading from this beautiful wonderful wonderful 
beautiful, wonderful person, please go show us some love and support. Um, I'll be doing a reaction video on my channel. So yeah, um, I, I literally, I'm blown away. It was absolutely brilliant. So thank you, Jen. And if you're interested in getting a general reading for yourself, or well, she does lots of different types of readings as well, check out our website, check out our social media. Literally, she's wonderful. I seriously, like it takes a lot to convince me because I'm like, hmm. But I think she was really good. I literally, 10 out of 10, amazing. And she also get done like a little message as well on the audio and I was like, oh, she's so sweet. So yeah, go check it out. Um, also, very quickly before I wanna go, doing that has kind of inspired me to get back into my whole kind of spiritual side. Uh, so I got a copy of um, Spirit and Destiny magazine, which I get now and again, but I hadn't got it for a while. And so I, there's a thing here. Hold on, here is it? Tune into the afterlife using letters and photos and also psychic art sketch with spirit. Just at the bottom there. Um, so I thought in a future video I could do more kind of mind, body and spirit kind of videos on here if you're up for it because it really has got me back into all this. So maybe I can do a video and try and, you know, connect with spirit. If any of you ever want like a tarot card reading done, let me know because um, I'm thinking of getting back into that as well. Like it'd be free, I wouldn't charge. I just like do a video and you could watch your reading on video or something. But yeah, I'm really like, I don't know, like into it again now. It's yeah, it's got me, it's got me going again with the whole like spirituality thing. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And as I say, all links down below to get in touch with the lovely Jen. Uh, please click like, please comment, please subscribe to our channel. That would be awesome. And yeah, social media is Twitter at MinxLaura123, Instagram MinxLaura123, and Facebook Minx.Laura.5. And don't forget everyone, I also have another YouTube channel. And it's called Minx Laura 123 ASMR. I make ASMR videos to help people with anxiety, insomnia, helps them to relax, chill out, unwind, you know. And some people, when they watch my ASMR videos, get like a tingly sensation in their scalp. Sounds a bit weird, but weird is good. So give it a try, Minx Laura 123 ASMR here on YouTube. All right, everyone, I'm going to let you go now. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of love. And if you do decide to get a reading done, let me know. Give me some feedback on what happened with your reading from Jen because I'm fascinated by all this. So, yeah. And if I get another reading done by her, which I hope I do really soon, I'll obviously um, update you with that as well. All right, everyone, take care. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>